Two more old fort ruins and still no Shadow Vanish wine. I suppose these ones were checked already by anyone else this High Elf has given this quest out to. That, or because of their more easy accessibility to the roads and proximity to the Imperial City, they were looted or all supplies were removed by the Legion long ago? I don't know, but you'd think it would be a little easier finding these bottles. Perhaps we should check any fort ruins that we find that are not right off the main roads. Perhaps it is just my predilection for completing tasks that I am assigned, or it could be, well, I would like to try a bottle myself. So, yes, I am curious to see if the old wine is good. Red wine is supposed to only get better with age, I say. I find myself watching Vilia more and more. I like what I see. She has this terrible innocence about her that makes me like her more. Normally, I would consider this extremely annoying, and on top of that, I sometimes find myself at war with the idea of getting close to someone and revealing any of my vulnerabilities. It is challenging for me. I want her, but I am fighting against the idea of it. It's like two parts of me are at war over the concept. It's frustrating at times. I also have no one to turn to to help. It used to be that Bethany was my conscience in times like these. I would ask her if it was okay to love someone. At times, love just seems like such a liability to me. The world is in terrible danger. I am soon to become a god. And I am stopping, in the middle of all that, to... to love a silly Nord girl. I know what Bethany would say. Of course you can love this girl. See where it goes, you dumb idiot. Bethany used to be involved with a whole bunch of men back then. One of which used to be this Dunmer that she told me about. Hmm. She always did like elves. Never thought she'd be serious with one. She told me she loved him in the last letter she sent me. I don't even remember his name. Sunny or something. <laughs> Dark elf with the name Sunny. How odd. Well, I hope he was with her at the end when she was... hung. That bastard Imperial. I wasn't able to get back until about a year afterwards. Seems odd that nine years after her burial, I would go to her grave to ask her questions. But I suppose I shouldn't worry until she starts answering them. If that happens, well then I have bigger issues than falling for some Nord girl. Alessia. They called her the Slave Queen. Although, why they did that, I don't know. Because she's the one that ended it. She still sees shackles on her ankles. Well, still. She was created. The statue was created this way, but there's still shackles on her ankles. Yes, she How did a lot for. In a fighting skills? You want to? You always enjoy doing some sparring. Okay. Then we'll go look for your book. Yeah, she did a lot for Tamriel. And it's slavery. Now, uh... You want to, huh? Tell me, what do you want? You want to practice sparring? Okay, let's see. Um, how yes? about we practice our fighting skills? Look, I'm really not in the mood for this. Let's do it later. Okay, then. Silly girl. Time. She's very fickle sometimes. Oh. There's more of these lotuses. And I will pick them for my alchemy. And this is a terrible, terrible water walking spell that I have purchased and memorized. Water walking? More like water dipping spell okay let's go find your book I'm sorry uh, you were sent to ask for my help and who are you where are my manners I'm Ross of Norvalo my husband Gillen has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him what is it that you're looking for normally I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this but Gillen seemed so insistent. Please forgive my audacity. It's all right. Rausa, continue. Thank you. 
Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case he sounded earnest, which worries me a bit. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to the citizens of the Imperial City. You're to meet him at Serador's house, which is located in the Temple District. That's he said all are. will be explained when you get there. <laughs> That's all he told me to say. Don't worry, I'll go. Thank you. I'm sure he'll be pleased. I must go now. Good day to you. I was just in here picking mushrooms when I was approached by that Dunmore woman. So this is the temple district, and I was hoping to go to the temple... That's Billion. something I'd like to talk to you about. Have you got a minute? Tell me your thoughts. I like you very much. But if you snigger one more time when I pronounce the name of that poor dead sailor in Brazil, If you do that, I shall make you order a meal from a Morrowind menu and see if you are such a linguistic genius, my friend. <laughs> All right, then. Yes, uh, End time. I see. You don't like me laughing at you. Oops. I'm sure it would be very helpful to read about Kinareth in the book Ten Commands, Nine Divines. Now, if I only had that book. Yes, uh, let's go then. End Can you time. move out of there, please? I would like to get those two mushrooms by your feet. I don't really like pushing around the bush. I'm afraid of spiders and insects and other things. Ugh. The only good zombie is a dead zombie, if you want my opinion. Good what? I'm not sure what she said. So, I mean, I would think good that to see you. there would be a book here. Ten Commands, Nine Divines. Hello? Go ahead, please. Uh, Be seeing you. There's no book. There's nothing here. Okay, so my original plan still stands. Let's go. Oh, the weather really turned. Let's go to the Mage's Guild, and we will go to Coral and Shaden Hall to the bookstore. I suppose I have a moment. What is it? I'm talking to you, Breton. Ah, fountain. Ah, and more mushrooms over there. Greetings to you. Yeah, I suppose I should toss a coin to. The fountain. You have my ear, citizen. Ugh. Okay. Let's go to the Mage's Guild, where I can at least use their teleportation. What's happening? This is the bookstore on Coral. A fool? Another one of those fools, Mythic Dawn Commentaries. Yugo Bolet's Key. Hmm. Hello, you look very busy. Wait, who's the proprietor of this? Just looking for Ten Commands, Nine Divines. See it. The store is gonna end or cl close soon. But I saw somebody upstairs, but I guess not. Where's the books? There's books over here. I have to be on guard wherever I go because of these. Idiots in that cult. Welcome oh. to Coral. I am Chanel, the court mage. What brings you to me today? I thought that was your baby. What can you tell me about Coral? Our countess will never let Coral fall to the Deidre. Oblivion gates be damned. For sure, they be damned. Heard any good rumors lately? I saw Valis Odal at the Grey Mare again today. Hasn't been the same since his boys took off. Hmm? His boys took off? What do you train in? Good that you want to get better. Oh, one of my primary areas of expertise. 
Thank you, though. Well, I found it. Ten commands of the Nine Divines. Send the Mages Guild and Coral. By the intercession of Saint Alessia, you may be so filled with grace and the strength and wisdom that comes from grace that through these teachings you may come to the true meaning of the Nine Divines and their glories. To convey to man's mind all the manifold subtleties of truth and virtue may not be done were all the seas ink and all the skies the parchment upon which their wisdom were writ. Yet Akatosh, in his wisdom, knowing how impatient is man, and how loath he is to travel upon the hard roads of truth, has allowed these ten simple commands to be made manifest with powerful clarity and concise definition. 1. Stendar says, Be kind and generous to the people of Tamriel. Protect the weak, heal the sick, give to the needy. 2. Arke says, Honor the earth, its creatures, and the spirits, living and dead. Guard and tend the bounties of the mortal world, and do not profane the spirits of the dead. 3. Mara says, Live soberly and peacefully. Honor your parents and preserve the peace and security of home and family. 4. Xanathar says, Work hard and you will be rewarded. Spend wisely and you will be comfortable. Never steal or you will be punished. Huh. Wise words, actually. Never get caught stealing, though. 5. Talos says, Be strong for war. Be bold against enemies and evil and defend the people of Tamriel. I like that one. 6. Kinnera says, use nature's gifts wisely, respect her power, and fear her fury. That's what... <laughs> that's what Vilya was looking for. That was it. Debella says, open your heart to the noble secrets of art and love. Treasure the gifts of friendship. Seek joy and inspiration in the mysteries of love. Hmm, good words. Though I can't really follow it, at least not at the moment. But eight. Juliana says, know the truth, observe the law. When in doubt, seek wisdom from the wise. Good words. 9. Akatosh says, Serve and obey your emperor. Study the covenants, worship the nine, do your duty, and heed the commands of the saints and priests. 10. The nine say, Above else, be good to one another. If only each man might look into the mirror of these commands and see, reflected there, the bliss that might enfold them, were he to serve in strict obedience to these commands, he would be cast down and made contrite and humble. The obedient man may come to the altars of the Nine and be blessed, and may receive the comfort and healing of the Nine, and may give thanks for his manifold blessings. Heedless, the wicked man turns away, and forsaking the simple wisdoms granted to him by the all-wise and all-knowing Nine, he lives on in sin and ignorance all the days of his life. He bears the awful burden of his crimes, and before men and God his weaknesses, wicknesses is known. Weaknesses is actually a good word to substitute for that. And neither blessing nor comfort may he expect from the altars and the shrines of the Nine. Yet the wicked and foolish are not doomed, for in their infinite mercies the Nine have said, Repent, and do good works, and the fountains of grace shall once more spill forth upon you. Repent your crimes, tender unto the emperor the fines of gold, that they may be used to spread the faith and its benefits to all men. Do yourself good works. Redeem your infamy by shining deeds. Show to all men and the nine the good fame of the righteous man, and you may once again approach the altars and shrines of the chapel to receive the comfort and blessings of the nine. How ironic that, uh... I didn't pick the book up. No, I have. That I have the blessing of the nine, especially with my past and with the way I think. There's a nasty white rat up there, and that's bothering me. Uh, move, just in time. I don't know where it went. There it is. Oh, yeah, you're right in the way. Yes! <laughs> just like when I was in prison. Cooked rat. Yes, I, I did eat some of this sometimes. Not all the time, so especially but if they were taught me not to think of it. Especially filthy. He's right. He smelly. has an accent too, and I quite like it. You like Fergus's accent, huh? Here, Vilya. What have you got there? It's my book. Ten Commands, Nine Divines. Now, this should help a lot. Thank you ever so much. Okay. You're welcome, ever so much. 
Want to relax here for a while? I think we should spend the night here. Sure. You will stay here too, won't you? Yes. Okay, well, it's getting late. Fergus? Do you want something from me? You talk funny too. I'm with two companions. One from elsewhere, and one from Soul Sun. Well, I should say Skyrim. Technically. Um, we're done for now. See you later. I'll wait for you at home. See ya. I'll recall him, uh, shortly. Sure the stairs I goes wish up. I had some ingredients that I could use for this. Yes, I've checked my alchemical ingredients. Nightshade. Nightshade makes good poison. I actually haven't seen Nightshade since I've gotten I read one of the Scribonia's books not long ago. But I must admit that I didn't understand a thing. Well, it's time to make a few potions before I go to sleep, and then we will look into this Pale Pass business for Countess of Bruma. Starting to see these dead cats pop up everywhere. Okay, so now that it's the next day, I've done a little bit of shopping, got a better touch spell, or destruction touch spell, much improved. I'm going to go see about what this dark elf woman was talking about because I do things in my own time. No one can command me, not my runes Dagon, not the Emperor. To a spell sword, but he's so dumb that he cannot even spell sword. I'm not sure what she's talking about. Who can't spell sword? And it's not is it here? I'm in the temple district, so it's gotta be somewhere around here. Uh not the Emperor, not Maroon's Dagon, not the Nine. Where did she say? Mushrooms. I have enough of these fly mats here, though. I have to, uh... I think that they mix well with some flour out in the Gold Coast region. Around... Well, Kavach and Anvil. But I had limited time out there, as it was kind of rushed. Rushed to get there to save Martin, and rushed to take him home. Or to someplace safe, at least. Ugh. Still plenty of cats all over. I'm not sure what does she say? I think I passed it right by. Ugh. Some house in the back? But here. Is somebody named Surrider? Yes, I would like to get out and go to Pale Pass, though. It's an honor to finally meet you. When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Serador. Pleased to meet you, Serador. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. If you'll come with me. I hope this isn't another Mythic Dawn attack that's more elaborate than the others. Very well, lead on. I am Splendid. Watching. Watch your step. He does have a guard How do you with do? Him. Something I can do for you? They say that the priestesses of the Chapel of Debella have all been murdered. Where were you going to lead me no to? No one even knows who did it. That I've hairstyle is just ridiculous. Seems to know what's going on. See it on elves. Although, as usual, he speaks only in riddles, as prophets always seem to do. Ah, be seeing you. Lead on, please, Serder. Yeah, this is a little suspicious. The rat. Hold still, will you? How did that happen? Who's this? Welcome. You are now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Huh? Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. That's another cult. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. Oh. I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings. Yes. Feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Alas, 
We are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Okay, then. Well, I am not so old. I am starting to get up there, though. Middle age, at least. I am well familiar with vampires. I helped clear out a nest that Azura sent me to. Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one. Until now. Until now? It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire and has already claimed one victim. That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. Who is this Roland Jenserik? A few nights ago, I was roaming the city as I often do, looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. The Order needs you to track him and destroy him. Couldn't you tell by seeing his eyes? It's a dead giveaway. So how do we find him? I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. Uh. Where is his home? His home is located in the Temple District, right across the garden from my home, in fact. Ironic, isn't it? It's a little close. So you're sure he's a vampire? You should have been able to tell right away, not just by the puncture wounds on her neck. Vampires are nasty creatures. They drink the blood of others to conceal their true nature. Such trickery makes them difficult to find. How you may you know? ask Gillen Norvallo or Greythroat about these creatures as well. They've learned much. How do you know he wasn't killing a vampire who was already bitten? What can you tell me about the Imperial City? I'm sorry, but my studies keep me indoors for the most part. I know little of the rest of the city. Oh, you know, this is... May I just like you give us a bad name. I at least get out and ro again. roam around you and search hurry. for herbs and other ingredients. See the city, see the sights, talk to the occasional person. I'm afraid of vampires. No. And all you do is I you hide in your home. I don't want to be a vampire hunter. Hello? How can I be of service? Take it you're a vampire hunter too. A vampire cannot exist in the daylight for long. As the sun's rays strike his flesh, it will burn as if on fire. Which makes me a little suspicious now that I think of it. These could be the vampires. Do you know Roland Jenserik? Roland was very much the loner. He never married and was rarely seen outside his house. I'm surprised his secret wasn't discovered sooner. Can you tell me about the Imperial City? One must be very careful in the Imperial City. There are things, dangerous things, that cannot abide the light. Hmm. Okay, then. The ever-vigilant vampires are creatures of deceit. Yes. You just said it. But your eyes are normal. Now, I don't know enough about vampires to know if they... And hide that look. Ugh. Stupid rat. I'm pleased you've joined us. Hello. Hello. Serador is asleep right now. He's had a long night of study and is exhausted. Do not disturb him. He'll be up at five this evening. This is Hello. all way too suspicious, and I think of the of that these very men, who are supposedly vampire hunters, could be the vampires themselves. Way too suspicious. He only gets up at night, he never leaves his home. Though the eyes thing has me a little perplexed, because I always thought you can tell a vampire by looking at their eyes. Whether it's 
I thought it, they couldn't help it, but I'm not sure about that. Lilia? What's on your mind, friend? Hmm. Oh, nothing. Uh, let's just talk a little while. Of course. Is there anything in particular that you would like to discuss? Tell me about yourself. Not now. No? Maybe later. Okay. Anytime. So, uh, he says he lives right across. Little entrance suit here, just windows. I shouldn't look at them. That could be Hirano Selects. It looks just like him. Well, it's been a while. Uh, this is not the house. This is the house, isn't it? I cannot pick this lock. But I know someone who can. And he says he should be sleeping, but if he's awake, then... Oh, wait, the other ones were awake at this time, too, and it's just midday. This is all very... questionable. All of it. Do you need something? Yes. Follow me, but go casual for now. Good. Shall we go? I would like you to open this lock and don't let that guard over there see you. Let me try. There. That's it. I've arrived at Roland Jensrick's house. I should begin to search a place for any clues as to his whereabouts. Ah. Let Can you open try. that? There. That's Clearly, it. he was wrong. You opened it? Yet I do think he meant well. Nothing in here. I actually will take his root pulp, though. Love letter from Rafina. Let's look at that. Could this be the girl that he so uh, murdered, as they said? After searching Roland's home, I found a letter written to Roland from his girlfriend. It mentions a cabin where the two would meet. It's located east of the Imperial City in the Great Forest. I think there may this may be where Roland could be hiding. I should head out there immediately before he has a chance to escape. My dearest Roland, I cannot wait for you to return from Braville. My heart swells with joy, as I know we will once again soon be together. I yearn for you every night that I look beside me in my bed, and you are not there. How I wish I could have taken my journey with you, but I understand that these are dangerous times, and I would only slow you down. When you return, perhaps we should get away from the chaos of the Imperial City. Let's go back to that cabin in the woods, the one where you said we would always be safe from the world. The one where you took me in your arms and sang songs of moonlight and happiness. The one where you said, I love you. Hurry, my love. Rofina. Ah. Please uh, open this too. Let me try. You're getting more skilled, aren't you? That was a difficult lock you opened over there. There. That's it. Oops. Nothing there. Oh. Looks like he has his own little, uh... wine-tasting place down here. Actually, now that I think of it, that's what I've always wanted. But he has a lot of cheap wine. I don't want to steal from him, especially, uh... No if he knows that I'll have been here. Shopping list. Onions. Corn. Mead. Three loaves of bread, a side of beef. That sounds normal enough. Ah, he has skooma, but that doesn't make him a vampire. It just makes him an idiot. Yeah, as I said, I don't want to steal. Because he'll know that I've been here if he's not the vampire. Let's go. The bedroom no, might tell all. That. Can you open this? Oops. 
This door. Let me try. Am I talking too much? Just tell me if you want to there. keep quiet. There, that's it. No, Velia, you talk just enough. I like it when you talk. I don't think he's gonna care if I kill this filthy rat in this room. Best in the city. <sighs> Can you open this? Oops. How about I burn it down? Open this, please. Let me try. There. That's <sighs> nothing in there. Armor and a steel dagger. He doesn't have a coffin in his house. Can you open this chest? Let me try. Mm, I can't do that. Try it again. Let me try. Mm, I can't do that. Too difficult for you, huh? Recipe. To create a potion of restore fatigue, combine any two normal foods, such as meat or seeds. Yes, every, every alchemist knows this from the beginner. From the very beginning. Grind carefully with a mortar and pestle. Place the resulting powder in a small pestle and mix with ordinary clear water. What enchants, leaflet. There's nothing here. The skulls are a little uh, worrisome. Uh, what if he's hiding it in here? Open that, please. Damn, I don't have lock picks. Here. Maybe we could talk a little. What do you think? Well, we are breaking and entering. It's probably smart to stop and talk about our lives right now, isn't it? Tell me about yourself. Let's adventure together a bit more. Well, why don't you talk about you instead? You want me to talk about myself, huh? Well, I've already said quite a bit to you. Here, um... Let me check your gear, please. What's mine is yours. Yes, I've been saving you lockpicks. Sure, go ahead. Okay, let's try this again. Oh well. Open that, please. Bernardo at the best defense shop Let knows me try. a lot about heavy armor. Maybe he could teach you a few things. There, that's it. Oops. How may I help you? I need... I would like to look well. here. Nothing. Let's go. It's all very, very suspicious. We weren't doing anything wrong. Only took his one ingredient and unlocked a bunch of locks. It's actually fairly close, so... Let's go get our horses and head out east. Deal with this vampire issue. And then we'll go look into this Pale Pass. Thing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.